What's going on, guys? It's your boy Takeaway here, bringing you guys the Pistol Week Twin Scheme. You guys gave me more than 100 likes. I asked for 100 likes, you guys exceeded the 100 likes. So, as promised, I'm going to be breaking down this Week Twin Scheme. And I'm just going to be breaking down the Ace Twin Scheme also, just something that I've been running. Um, I don't know if anyone else has a scheme on YouTube, and I don't care because I'm going to show you guys how I run this game. So, you already know the, the, the play that I put out yesterday, so we're not going to go over that. We're going to run the um, lead read option real quick. Standard two men under. I don't need to run no blitz or nothing. We're going to look at the, um, we're going to hold right trigger up on the right stick just to see who we got to read. All right, he stood up. Kind of got chopped up right there. Bad run stick right there. Bam, Nick Foles. But I would have Mike Vick in there, obviously. Oh, get loose. That's just, um, that's actually, read option is actually good to run versus blitzes, believe it or not. Because if they play in the quarterback, I mean, you can handle it. If it's not like a middle linebacker blitz, if it's um, an edge blitz, the D-line won't even react to your running back going down the field. As you can see in some of my videos, I'll be running the read option, and you see me break off like 80-yard runs and 70-yard touchdown runs and shit. But that was that. Simple read option play. Very effective. Now, next play, we're going to go over the um, PA boot. We're going to run this versus zone coverage. Only intended for zone. So we're going to run this versus a cover three. Let me show you guys what happens when you run a versus zone. It's not too, too effective, but what you want to do is put B on the N route, put A on the N route, put Y on the option route, block your running back just for more time for the X route, or you can put um your running back on the wheel route, just depending on um, if your opponent's blitzing you or not. You're just going to motion him out, use him as a blocker. Bam. Nice dot. That That's automatic. That's money, guys. Once again... In route B, in route A, put your Y dude on the option route. Come over there, get a nice little block in. We had B wide open, but we're just going to go to the post again. So we're going to make reads, guys. I mean, this is a real game. If I would have never had time, of course I would have thrown it to B. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and just try to go for the money ball. But I'm going to wait, 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 wait. Bam. Laser. Now, this is versus any type of zone. I'm running cover three, but cover four, cover two, any type of zone is going to work. So, we're not going to go over all of that. Now, this is, like, one of my favorite plays. Like, the uh, rollout smash play. Because of the easy five yards you could pick up, especially if they're backed off coverage or whatever. But we're going to hit them with the screen. Now, I'll run the screen when I know my opponent is blitzing. So, I'm going to run a blitz. Do I have any blitzes in here? Let's run this cover three buff play. So we're gonna set up this blitz. Bam. This is like a three man edge heat. And we're gonna just dump it off to um McCoy. So I didn't mean to motion him. I apologize. Get him back over here. Now when you have elusive running backs like McCoy, when you catch passes, you can like spin instead of like trucking, you know? Um, if you have, like, a Marshawn Lynch, Frank Gold, obviously you want to be trucking using their abilities like that. But if you have, um, like, a Jamal Charles, or, um, LaShawn McCoy, you want to be spinning to avoid his stick fumbles and just to, you know, get loose in the field. So, no one follows me. Bam. Easy. We didn't even have to do nothing right there. This is only versus a blitz, guys. When you know your opponent's blitzing you, you can have this in your audibles and just specifically audible to this and catch your opponent off guard. Easy. So now we're going to set up the blitz from the opposite side, you know, because you're probably thinking like, oh, you blitz from that side, obviously, but got him in a spa, setting up the blitz from that side, uh, excuse me for that, going to hike the ball, he wasn't even guarding him, he was blitzing, let's run that one more time, all right. Look at me. No stick. And then one more time. Setting up three man edge heat. Bam. See the spin right there? Did you guys see that spin? Like, this is what you want to do with big backs. I said big backs. Fast backs. That's elusive, guys. 
So next we're gonna go to the run play. I run this run play. Um, the draw when they're running Fagdy, you know people like to run a lot of Fagdy online, but we're not gonna go over the draw because you just hike the ball and you just run the draw. We're gonna go over the um, dig wheel play. This is kind of good versus man, depending on if you have someone good at the X spot where they can um, get the inside position. What you want to do is just put Y on the option route. Um, you could put A on the drag still, or put him on a um, zig route. I'm going to leave everything as is right now. Motion to run back on that wheel route. This is optional. You don't have to because it'll give away that you're passing the ball. But, um, man, X wide open. Deshaun Jackson beat him inside, and we was good. Run that one more time just to show you guys. Deshaun Jackson gets inside position. That guy is not even guarding nobody, so I don't know why he's even standing there. Run it one more time. Go to Deshaun Jackson. He keep bumping me. Let me put Y on a different route. This is annoying. All right, now we good. Look at that. Money. You can also throw the wheel route to B, depending on um your users, you know. Like you need to just hike throw it to B and just click on, and you'll be able to um spectacularly catch it. I'm going to show you guys right now. Well, you just had to throw it. We didn't have to spectacular catch right there. This is a very effective versus man. Versus zone, I would not do this on um, the B route because for some reason, when you run zone and you throw that wheel route, the cornerback will jump down and just yick your shit. And you do not want to throw picks, obviously. So, we do that as the dude was cutting. And you cannot click on and pick this off. I would try to show you guys, but obviously I can't throw the pass and try to pick it off but as you can see we see the set you see the separation guys we're getting a lot of separation which is giving us um a huge advantage now i'm going to show you guys this formation that i ran when i picked this playbook you know i never ran this i never ran this none of these formations i always ran just the, um the bunch flipped and the, um five wide so i'm going to show you guys the pistol now this is what i like to do out of here i like to i like this play niner post this is like my favorite play in this formation, to be honest. So we're gonna run this versus man real quick. We're just gonna put Y on a zig route and A on a zig route. When you you can do Y on a zig route, A on a zig route, Y on an end route, A on an end route, drag one of them, end route one of them. It just depends if they man up people if they're adjusting or not. You know, just go by go with the flow. So we got the wheel route and we got the user catch. This post always gets open, yo. For some reason, this always gets open. It stay getting open. As you can see. Again, click on dot. Easy. Now you can throw the road the wheel route too. Gets like a little delay. Bam. Dot. See how he just froze? Show you guys one more time. Like a little pick play, you know? So now we're gonna try to hit one of them. The, the zig route if it gets open okay why was open could have been through that i was just trying to see which one was going to get open let's run it one more time bam now depending on what team you got if you play with the niners that might be a vernon davis you know you playing with the browns that might be um that cameron dude whatever his name is cameron whatever his name is, you know what i'm talking about that dude's, that dude's tough as hell so now we're going to do a drag route with an end route combo a wide open. He just totally torched his man. Now look how easy that was. Now we're gonna go to the another play that I like to run. Wait, we got my fact let me show you that play versus versus zone. I didn't show you that play versus zone. Versus zone is the same exact thing, guys. The wheel route I do not throw because like I said, the cornerback sometimes jumps down and picks it. But we do this combo right here. Uh in route slant. I did the slant this dude, in route this dude. No biggie. We have A open, but we're going to throw the post. Bam. Easy. This is, like, very effective. You're going to see me run, running this whole formation in um, future videos, guys. So, when you see plays like this, you know what I'm running. All right. Now, we're going to go to the strong power. Right about now, um, I was running to the left side because we have the cornerback um, on the right side. I guess they're just mainly man line by themselves, so we're just gonna flip it. And now, being that we flip it when we run the strong power, 
every play that we run, we're going to flip it just to confuse our opponent, just so they don't know what's coming. So, we're going to just flip it to the left, run the strong power, spin. Like I said, we don't have a big back, so you don't, you're not going to see me trucking. When I have a big running back, I'll be trucking like hell, you know, trying to get the extra yards fighting. But when we have a small back, elusive back, we try to get loose with him. Use his, um, his moves, his jukes inside, like that. He almost fell right there. That type of moves we're gonna, we want to want to use. Now, am I a man right now? Okay, we're going to audible the man. This play is called Smash. I have this in my audibles because X. I actually wanted to put this at the tip before my laptop broke. But it was out of different formation. These little hitch routes is unbumpable, guys. And it's an easy pickup of 5-2. So, we're just going to hike through with the X. Bam. Easy. Did you guys see that? He just literally just caught it. Real simple. Going to run that play again. Audible the man. Now, this time we're going to um we're going to put Y on the end route and we're going to leave B on that post route. We're going to look for B on the post route. Bam. Post route, naked. And we might score. And we score. So, we left him on that route. And real simple. Now, this is the slip screen. I like to run this versus blitzes and sometimes versus like, you know, regular a standard cover three. So we're going to run this versus standard cover three. Slip screen. You can run it to the running back regularly, but this is what I like to do. I like to block the running back, put B on a drag, A on a drag, and Y on a streak. Or A on a streak and Y on a um, out route. And I put X on a um, flat route because you could actually hike though with the X on a flat on this little hitch route also. The reason for me putting B on a drag and A on a streak is sometimes the um, opponent might, if they use it in their safety, or if it, even if they're using their linebacker on the right, they may see, they may notice the screen and try to jump down, but then we're going to have A wide open deep. So, should I run this versus cover three? I got bumped. And we picked up yards, but that was kind of stupid right there. Um, so, we're just going to run the, we're going to run a blitz right now. I'm just going to blitz, matter of fact, let me set up a blitz something. Uh... Blitz him, blitz him, crash the line down, yellow him, some shit like that, you know. Put B on a drag, audible to the slip screen. As you can see, these are my audibles. I have slip screen, strong power, smash, and nine up post wheel. Uh, I forgot to put freaking, I forgot to block the running back. Sorry, guys. All right. Like that. He actually followed us right there, being smart. But this play works all the time. For some reason, Palomar is just real smart. All right, try this versus the blitz now. Hold up, put him on a drag streak and run him. We picked up a lot of yards right there, but usually it just creates like a shift, um, um, like a, uh, made screen, you know, to a wide receiver. Now we're going to go over the read option. Let me play real quick. I accidentally picked the play. I'm going to set up Mike Vick in here just to show you the effectiveness of the screen. I mean, of the read option. My nigga Mike Vick. Right. Read option. Now, if we was playing the game, I would have ran strong power to the left again, but I'm going to show you guys the read option. You can flip the read option by just... So, we in read option. We're going to hit the right stick to the right. If you're on PS4, it's, I think it's called the right stick to the right analog stick to the right, and it flips the read option, but we don't need to flip the read option right now. It's just versus a certain formation. So, all right, but now we're going to hike the ball. Tried to hand it off, but that's the bailout right there. When um you try to hand off the ball and they don't hand it off, you can just press B real quick and spin out. Run it one more time. Bam. Did you see what I'm talking about, guys? How the run the dude stands up, and if you run the read option at the right time, you can literally get a huge gain. Like, look at that. I'm getting huge gains right now. This time we're gonna flip it, read it, still on back over there running it, and he crashes inside. Left trigger, made him stop, pop. We almost scored, so 
this is just a nice scheme to have, guys. Like, this can really put up points on the board easy. You can beat Fag D, Coverage D. I said Fag D, Coverage D. You can beat Coverage D, freaking Blitzes, anything with these plays. As long as you run these plays right, guys, I promise you, you guys will um, come out on top. So, that was all the plays that I run. I mean, it may be um, different plays you may mix in when you play, but for the most part, those are the plays that I run. I do not run the counter too often because it's hard to cut back. I just run it versus certain formations where they, like, lined up all together. Um, this is the playbook I run. No need to go into everything else because, matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys the five wide I run too. So, when I run in... This playbook, and like I'm on a third down, I come out of five wide, and I pick the play WDT post, and I flip it. So we're going to run this versus a cover three. What I like to do is just put A on a drag, Y on the end route. That's it. Um, Deshaun Jackson, he's small, so I'm not going to try to do the little user catch to him. Matter of fact, I'll try it one time real quick, see if he catches it. And he caught it. You know, just put him on a fade versus zone. You can get that all the time, guys, for those of you that don't know. So, once again, we're going to put A on the end route, Y on the drag. We're going to put B on the fade every single time. I read on this play. If this dude in front of Y, like, blitzes down, we're going to immediately throw the fade. If he drops back a little slow, we will still throw it. But if he's, like, right by the 20, we're not going to throw it because he might be able to pick it. So, I'm just going to make a read. Bam, we have the drag wide open. Drags get open all the time versus any zone. For those of you that don't know that. Now we're gonna hit um we got time, we're gonna hit X. Ah, uh, we didn't have that much time. But in a real game, you're gonna hit your first read, obviously. You're not gonna sit there and wait for a deep post when you can easily get a quick drag. Yeah, I'm not getting time. They are really coming at me. Try this one more time. Slide protect. Buy us a little more time. Yep, sled protection bought, definitely bought us time. So, as you can see, X, easy pickup, guys. Easy, easy pickup. Now, sometimes the cornerback will follow will follow the post route. As you can see here, he followed the post route. Look, he, we had RB wide open. So, we could have thrown that too also. You see him follow him? That happens a lot. So, right there. Then, let's see if he follows him. Just gonna throw the drag. I'm not sorry protecting. I keep forgetting. I apologize, guys. And post route. I mean, um, fade route. Use the catch. Lead pass inside versus zone. You can get that every single time. Bad read right there. But we had a uh, we had um our drag open, so that was just a bad read. Now we're going to run this versus man. Versus man, you can throw the quick wheel route, guys. You can just hike throw it. And the same adjustment. All you need is an end route with um, A, while on drag, and Deshaun Jackson. I'm going to put him on a streak all the time. With this team, if they user in their safety, guys, make sure you have a streak to the opposite side every single time because you will score no matter what cornerback you're playing on a deep streak with any of these two guys, you will score. So we're going to hike throw RB. He stopped for some reason. Let's throw that one more time. I'm actually going to start playing with the Eagles, guys. I think that's going to be my team, guys. So you might be seeing Eagles gameplay coming up after um, these couple uploads I have. Yeah, he's throwing it real bad right now. He's not cutting up the field as he usually does. Let's try that one more time. There we go. When he sets to the corner, then you lead pass up. All right, the last play I like to run is the five wide receiver screen. Like I said, this is only when they blitz in or when they do not have a um a flat over there. So we're gonna put a purple on Palomalu. I'm gonna just hike throw it, hike the ball, left trigger X, and bam, get loose. Simple, guys. All these plays is simple. Nothing too glitchy. Nothing. Just simple stuff. Bam. Lead pass. Easy. You can run the play. Um, I have this play in my audibles. Vertical wide shake. When they're running like a cover three as the defense is in right now, you can try to hit up wire RB in the seams. So let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Bam. 
Easy. Hit them right in the seams, and we just got an easy dot. Also, at a 5 wide, you know, you get those um, out routes. So, not going to go over that. That's just the scheme right here. I was going to originally just go over that one week twins formation, but you guys spam me with a bunch of likes. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys watching this, and this is by far the longest tip video that I ever put out. So, kudos to me. It's your boy, take away out. Peace.